movies more and more are being watched at home, which is really a disappointment. But there's nothing like that communal experience of sitting in the dark. Your eyes can go nowhere but forward because that's where the only light is. Thank you. People like coming to the Narrow basically uh, because they know they're going to see uh, an unusual film, a film that they're not going to see in any other place. The great thing about the Kimball is you really see a diverse audience, you know, elementary school to, you know, some of our younger programming all the way up to, you know, uh, retired folks that are here in the community. For decades, it was the only movie theater in town. So if you wanted to see a movie, you came to the Williamsburg Theater. The theater itself was built in 1936. People do like coming there because of our concession stand, which is relatively inexpensive compared to other places. You can get a popcorn and drink for $3 total. We enjoy doing the, the niche audience and that we find that, especially in the Williamsburg area, that there's a good market for these films that just aren't going to show up at the, at the chain theaters. We have a documentary or something, we get an expert in there to talk about it afterwards, have an open discussion about it. And we also have uh, our film forum, which we do twice a year. It's a seven film series that we do on Sunday morning. We have a brunch and then uh, we show a movie that has not shown in the area before. Sometimes it's a narrow type movie, but not always. Sometimes it's a commercial film too. And then um, after the movie's over, we pass out cards that they can rate it. And also we pass around the microphone so people can talk about it. And everybody seems to have a good time with that. The schedule, uh, people really use that as a Bible for what's happening in movies at the Narrow. Because they'll pick it up and it's, you know, we have film synopsis of each one, things that are happening here. They're in there before the movie starts, uh, with that schedule opened up wide, and the schedule is really the only way we had to market our movie. Where are we gonna go in the future? I think we'll probably pretty much continue on like we're going right now. Yeah, I guess we'll continue to show Rocky Horror every other uh, Friday or so, which is a late show, which has been here forever. Uh, but it's really hard to say, you know, movies are, the business changes all the time. We've been here for 30 years and I, hopefully we'll be here for years to come. <laughs>